So it's a great pleasure to present the Chateau Sudero 2019 and I hope you get a chance to taste it uh, wherever you are. We've done our best to get samples around the world. 2019 was uh, an extremely good year here in Bordeaux. Uh, it started off pretty wet uh, and uh, we had a little bit of uh, difficulty during the flowering period which meant that uh, uh, potential yields were lower than they might otherwise have been but uh, that had no incidence on quality whatever and it meant that uh, when the sunny weather set in in uh, the beginning of June uh, we had a prolonged sunny ripening period June, July, August and September on uh, pretty low yields uh, which meant that the grapes got extremely ripe and this is one of the characteristics of the, the 2019 uh, vintage the, that you have these wonderfully ripe grapes. At Chateau Sudero uh, we, uh, we entered the harvest period with a, a beautiful crop of healthy ripe grapes and uh, of course in Sautern a very dry September is not absolutely ideal because we're waiting for some humid uh, weather for the, to allow the development of the Botrytis cinerea. And uh, so although we made some magnificent dry white wines at Sudero at the beginning of September, we began to get a bit frustrated in September waiting for Botrytis. And the first tree we actually did towards the end of September uh, was actually uh, not really Botrytis wine, it was, it was more uh, the, the shriveled up grapes. Uh, the Passerie grapes. But then we had a little period of rain at the end of September and Botrytis set in uh, in the first uh, week of, uh, of October and on the 10th of October we began our second tree and this was absolutely magnificent. What we had there was a development of Botrytis which was quite rapid uh, on wonderfully ripe grapes and uh, uh, although we had a third tree later on, uh, it was this second tree in uh, October which made the Grand Vin. There's not a huge amount of it, but what there is, is a very beautiful Chateau Sudero. The wine is, uh, uh, it's, it's extremely pure. Uh, it's not perhaps quite as opulent and rich as, uh, as some years we've had in recent years because uh, there's probably a little bit less botrytis, but the grapes were extremely ripe. So you have this, this wonderful ripe fruit and a very delicate, fine botrytisation. Uh, and this makes a, uh, a wonderfully elegant Chateau uh, Sudero, which is uh, principally marked by its harmony, freshness and balance. And, and a wonderful finesse. We think it's a beautiful Chateau Sudero and I hope you enjoy it.